Hey guys! I am in the shot now. How are you today? Pretty happy to be actually here today doing a tutorial on YouTube. It's been a while and I'm not going to talk forever. Let's jump right into the video. Today I want to clean this time lapse with you guys and I wanted to do it for YouTube because I'm going to use actually two different techniques to remove uh, the New York birds at uh, the helicopters. They usually come out at sunsets and uh, there is a lot of them on this day tonight. Let's go. Here it is a little preview of the time lapse. Yes, you can see all the helicopters. It was a pretty popular night for helicopters, I guess. And today, since we have clouds, we're gonna have to remove them manually. And then once the clouds are gone, we'll be able to actually use uh, the second technique, which I've already taught you guys a lot. So first step, what I'm going to do is zoom in on my time lapse and then play the time lapse to see if I have some blurry images. So I'm gonna focus on like one specific building. Usually I do it in, in full, but I think right now transform up oh, maybe here. Sometimes there's some weird stuff going on. So I'll go back to full and then just got to double check it out. No, we good, let's keep going. All right, no blurry frames. Next step, uh, do we actually need to stabilize it or not? Um, for this, I'm going to actually zoom again and then just scroll. Oh, I can't scroll it that fast. I think it's fine looking at the blurry images, which we don't have. We don't need to do some warp stabilizer. It was There's like literally no wind that day. Let's jump right into the fun part, removing those damn birds. Double click. So I open the layer. I'm going to select the clone stem tool and then make sure you have minus one selected here normal and then here you want single frame as well and i don't know for some reason he doesn't want to show the little circle so we're gonna go frame by frame and then just remove everything so i'm gonna time lapse for you guys and then when we're done uh, i'll show you the other technique to remove all the helicopters when the sun's when the sun is gone actually <laughs> Okay, so I removed already 189 planes, helicopters, and just a few birds. It's mostly plane. So it took me, what, 10 minutes? I didn't actually look, but yeah, I did 10, 15 minutes at best. So now see that all the, the, the clouds, the clouds are gone. So what I'm going to be able to do actually, hopefully, I'm, I'm sure I forgot a few. Ah, this, this one, keep saying. All right, I'm gonna go back to my composition, go all the way to where I was. So where I was, right here, somewhere here. Okay, 11 seconds. I have like nine seconds of video left. And there's already one showing up right here. So what I'm going to do is the other technique that I taught you as well in this YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna duplicate the clip, you know, uh, the layer, sorry. And then I'm gonna move and zoom in and then move the top layer one frame to the right. That, that way, the top layer is one frame late. And you understand why I did manually the first 11 seconds and then after the, the clouds are gone, I'll be able to go back to this technique. For the only reason that if I do right click and the blending mode with lighten, it's gonna create something weird um, in the clouds. So see if I zoom in on the clouds right here, see what it creates. Basically it's you know only keeping, it's only removing the darker pixel compared to the layer that is at the bottom. So it works great on birds and helicopters and planes on a bright sky, but it won't work if you have bright elements on bright elements, of course. I was actually waiting for the clouds to be mostly gone, and around 11 seconds, I think, uh, yeah, there's one I, I did not remove. See this one, sneaky boy. Oh my goodness, I hate those. Ugh, I need to go in the layer. There it is. Goodbye. We don't want you here. So let's go back to uh, the composition layer, which we are already. And um, so I'm going to crop the top layer to start around this time right here. And then if I click on the little arrow, transform, we'll be able to do a quick opacity um, uh, fading. It's going to fade in. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is select only the sky. I'm going to create a mask only for, for the sky. Um, it doesn't have to be a perfect mask because it's it's not a perfect mask. It's you only want to select most of the sky, and then if there's any any birds left, you know we'll be able to uh, to manually go back to the layer window and then remove them with the clone stem tool. Okay, 
So this one here is still showing because it's invisible, but if I do this, oh, it starts right here. So let's go back to the layer window, clone stem tool, and I'm going to remove this one manually. Let's see if there's a few after this. There's one, okay. Alright, so now the layer is 100%, so we shouldn't have any anything left in the sky, technically. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn off the top layer and then just play it. <laughs> Look at this right here. Let's take one with tons of helicopters. I don't know, there was like almost like five helicopters at once. And then, baff. Oh man, it's so magical. But then you have to be careful because at some point all the aircrafts are going to turn into, you know, light trail. And they're going to be bright on the bright, on the dark sky. So you don't want to keep this lightning effect here. If you want to remove them at night, you can do the same thing, but you have to duplicate this clip and then uh, do blending mud and then dark darken. It's going to remove brighter pixel on a darker background. But here I'm going to keep, see, if you keep this brighten effects uh, fusion mode thing, it's going to duplicate. See? Yeah, so what I'm going to do is go back to where the first, um, the first light is, right here, okay? And here we're gonna remove it. And if there's any like darker area left, uh, darker spots like here, there is, yeah. But at least I did like, I don't know, like three and a half seconds of time lapse in just a few minutes. Okay, so here, then you go back to clone stem tool if there's a few left. And then make sure you select it, obviously, the original layer. And then up, you just finish the job manually. And I'm going to leave those because it's a, just a plane, but I, I'll remove the dark one. I like the bright one. The bright one are fine. It's really just the dark one. It's going to make the difference. It's a bit time consuming sometimes. It's actually a time lapse I shot at the workshop. Just check uh, the last week video. There is a full, um, full, full vlog about this entire workshop and the behind the scenes. And if you want to join a workshop, check the link in the description below. We have a New York workshop coming in April. 2023. Alright, I think we're pretty good. Uh, what I like to do usually to finish double checking, so I'll just save obviously first, and then just play it. And then if you see one helicopter, plane, whatever that you forgot, you can go back to the layer. There is a few left here, just some small one. My, I see, I see them so much. Now that this is what I'm doing, see I'm already forgot right here too. Look at this one. Like, how did I find this one? playing full speed. I basically focus my eyes in the middle and then I try to look at everything that's gonna look distracting. The bright one, like like this one, is it's not bad, but since it's right at the edge of my frame, let's just remove it. I'll just be nicer. So let's say you wanna remove at night, so let's just do it real quick so I can show you with the, the fusion mode. So I'm gonna duplicate it again, all right. And then same thing like around here. I'm gonna draw like a mask in the sky. All right, I'll just I'm, I'm just gonna remove like the top the top frame. So let's get to a quick feather too, maybe like 50 pixel. Okay. And then that way, if you want to remove the the plane at night, it's a great way to do it. It's kind of, it's kind of like the, the blending mode, fusion mode. Okay. So there is a plane. So you do the th same thing. First of all, you need to move it one frame to the right. So it's one frame late, okay? Right click, blending mode, and then you're gonna do darken this time. And poof, see, now it is going. And then you shouldn't have any plane at night. You have to be careful during this time of the, of the, the, the month, this time of the day usually. You might have a plane with bright and darker pixels, so it doesn't work. It's better to do it manually if you have both of, um, if you have really bright and very dark pixel for one element, just remove them manually. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Next step, I'm going to create a quick pre-composition. Pre 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 <laughs> I'm going to go to like somewhere here. I feel like this is usually where you have the most grain. I'm going to do a quick neat video. We're going to go to full here. And neat video, uh, reduce noise is a plugin you can purchase. It's like one time fee and it's amazing. So we're going to remove the grain. Let's see. Clipping. What about here? Perfect. Noise level 4.1. Yeah, there's a bit of 
of noise. I really pushed the exposure and the shadows up. Um, I was doing the workshop at the same time. Let's see how good it is. And then I can remove the flicker real quick and do a little quick of sharpening. So what I like to do is for the fine details, just go like 85. For the medium, like go about halfway and enlarge just a little bit. And then if you apply this, it almost looks like you're, it might be a, a little too much right here. So you can adjust it. You don't want it too much. So maybe 75 or 40 and then maybe like 15 here. Uh, if you do too much, it's gonna look kind of weird, but look at the difference. Yeah, you might not see it on your side, but it, sometimes it almost looks like it almost looks like you're blurry, like you were out of focus, pretty much. No grain sharpness. We are pretty good. Going to go back to this view. Let's export it. And there it is. This is the final time lapse. Probably didn't take me more than 20, 30 minutes for the entire cleaning part. And it, it is worth it, right? Um, if you want to be part of this workshop, again, check the link in the description below. I'm also going to list a, another YouTube video about the clone stem tool with more details so you can understand how it works. So check the link, uh, links in the description below. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.